Hey, what's up? So, as you can see, I got the headlamp on, on top of a do-rag. That's how we do things around here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I was saying in my first video, that already kind of messed up because I wasn't able to get uh, the part where I show you the hissing cockroach named Voila. Uh, I'm going to be showing her right now. Again, really sorry I couldn't do that. I did a take of this already and I did it in freaking uh, portrait mode. You know, should be doing things in landscape because that just makes things all so much better. So I'm just redoing it right now and uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys her right now. She is only a couple months old. She's not that big. And uh, like I said before, she's a hissing cockroach. They do not fly. And like most cockroaches, they don't eat anything crazy. They really do like to eat stuff like uh, vegetables. So uh, they, you could find them eating stuff like carrots, uh, lettuce tomatoes, you know, fruits like apples and all that, so yeah, they, uh, they don't have that crazy of a diet, they are a part of the, uh, the, uh, cockroach order, which contains about, last I checked, I think they contained about 4,500 species or so, and with these species, uh, only 30 is, 30 of the species out of 4,500 of them are even pests, so that should give you an idea of how uh, different they are compared to everything else, because you, you need to think cockroach, you're like, you pest, I want to get it out of the house and all that, not beneficial, they're pretty important, they, uh, they help clean up the environment, the ones that aren't pests, of course, they help clean up the environment and all that, and they are pretty, pretty useful to have around, because without them, there would be a lot more stuff just rotting on the ground with uh, nothing to consume it. So yeah, without further ado, I'll be showing you my pet. See, uh, you can already see her little head right there. Oh, she's freaking adorable. This is her water tray. I gotta replace the cotton ball in there. Usually I put water to dampen that. Cause having a, uh, a like water bowl is dangerous cause they can fall in and not be able to get back out and they can drown. So you should put a cotton ball instead so they are still able to drink from it. So anyways. Uh, let me make sure the shadow isn't getting in the way. But there she is. She is nocturnal, so she's only really active at night. Uh, as you can see how she was hiding under one of the bowls. They like to hide in things. That's why I got a uh, the uh, log over there. She's able to hide in there. She can't hide under the log or in the bowls. She will hide actually in the bark. Right there is one of her favorite hiding spots to go. But yeah, uh, like I said, she's only a few months old, precious, and I can't wait to see her molt for the first time and grow. And these t guys typically live about one to three years, so yeah, there she is. See you guys later.